My name is Mia Fassbender and I graduated last year in 2020 in the Department of Man and Wellbeing from Design Academy. So my project is called Urban Futures and it is a board game about urban planning and the challenges that come with any big group project or a project where there are different people involved that have different values and um, agendas. So it is a game that teaches people about listening and empathy and bringing people together about topics that are very controversial and polarizing. So for me, that's urban planning in terms of gentrification and regener regeneration of cities. Um, but it could be any other topic as well. So I developed this game as a tool to give people a different method of talking and learning how to compromise and adapt your values and opinions and come to a coherent conclusion together. So it's something that can be used as a tool in workshops or can just be played with schools, for example. Time after graduation was quite different than I expected it to be. For me, it felt more as some sort of parallel life. So I got a full-time job after I left Design Academy because I realized that I currently can't continue my project because it is a project that involves a lot of people sitting around the table. So during the pandemic, that wasn't really possible. So for me, having a full-time job um, really gave me that opportunity to develop my professional career and being able to put the project on pause and not let it die completely was really difficult for me to balance. Um, but I realized that having a full-time job in the professional world is so crucial to doing anything in the future with my project. Um, so yeah, it's been a kind of a tricky path to find the balance between now and the future and trying to juggle what the smartest thing to do is now but I think I've figured it out for now. <laughs> the biggest achievement for me during graduation and especially with the Urban Futures project was creating something that I've never done before like I've never worked in games before or board games that I've never touched that before and it's not like I'm a big board game nerd that I know everything about it. So coming up with a tool and almost forcing my brain to think in a completely different way, a bit more mathematical in a way, like structuring a game is so much trial and error. Um, that was, I think, my biggest achievement, like being able to create something that people can use and being able to test it over and over again with actual people without create. That was a massive achievement for me because from the beginning of the process, I never wanted to create something that was just show or create something that seems like it's working, but it's actually not. Like, that's what I really hated and I really didn't want to do. So for me, it was really this trial and error phase, always testing and actually coming up with something that genuinely works. That for me was my biggest achievement. Um, and my biggest challenge was balancing mental health and at the same time keeping up the motivation to continue the project was quite difficult because I think we graduated when it was two months in uh, into COVID so it was this thing that you kind of knew that this pandemic was going to stick around for a while and being okay with that being okay with realizing that you might create a project that you cannot immediately continue after just, and then finding the motivation to still keep going. I thought that was the biggest challenge that you had to wake up like every day, not knowing what the future holds and still trusting in your project and trusting in the value that you can bring. I want to grow a bit more in the current job that I'm doing because it's allowing me to understand the professional world and like clients and how to set up a business, how you talk, how you finish contracts, all of the things that you don't really learn in school is really something that I was lacking. And if I want to achieve anything in the future, for me personally, this was really, really important, like understanding who I am in the professional world and 
how can I reach people with my voice is something that isn't a given. And this is not something that is handed to you as a manual in school. So that's what I want to develop further for now. And my future dream dream would probably be to create some sort of workshop or cafe somewhere in the world. This is very non-location specific. Um, and host workshops with local communities or the local community, wherever that will be, um, with the game, but also with other artists, like have workshops and artists come by and um, teach schools or teach people with that really don't have access to the creative industry. Um, yeah, to just kind of have a space, space being physical, but also non-physical, um, where you can just share and hold workshops and have gallery and artists come and um, yeah. So if I win the award, I would first of all put it on hold, like I'll definitely put the money aside. And then once I feel ready for it, which is hopefully in the coming year, um, I kind of have to wait for this um, pandemic and the travel to be a bit easier just because my game really is about bringing it to people and creating big workshops with it, going to schools, going to institutions, meeting companies in the urban planning field. So it involves a lot of people, a lot of like touching of things. So right now that's a bit difficult. So once that eased up, I'm hoping I can go travel a little bit with the game and just show it around and make different versions of it maybe create a digital one or have one that's a bit cheaper cheaper made in either wood or paper um to make it more accessible and just make sure that i can develop it further because obviously i've tested it but i don't feel like it's at a stage yet where i would be confident just giving it out without me being there so I think right now it is something that I would do together with a lecture or something. So that's what I would use it for, half of the money. And then half of the money I would probably use to put aside for when I have my future dream that I just talked about, about creating workshops and being able to bring people in that actually have no money and no access to these things to really facilitate design and urban planning talks like helping communities to get together in a way that doesn't cost that much money or in a way that i can take some brunt of that on my shoulders um yeah i think that's kind of what it is but there is no immediate plan it will be when once things have relaxed a bit <laughs>